Let's talk about weapon ornaments in Destiny and what they should and should not be. Some of what I'm going to go over today I've touched on before, but other things are going to be brand new. I'm fairly sure this might start an argument. But hey, what won't people argue about in video game land these days? Today's video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. It is light, industrial, and non-clunky. It doesn't fold or take up way too much room in your pocket, and I really see no need to ever go back to the old style of wallet ever again. Not only is this bad boy stylish and compact, each one comes with a lifetime warranty. You could buy this one wallet and carry it around for life. The Ridge team is so confident that you're gonna like their wallet, they will let you test drive it in your pocket pocket for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't totally love it. You can get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to rich.com slash falloutplays and using promo code falloutplays. Link down low in the video description and thanks again to The Ridge for sponsoring today's video. All right, weapon ornaments. A lot of people feel a certain way about them and have for some time. I think we can all agree that zhuzhing up our guns visually can be pretty fun, but it always seems to go hand in hand with arguments about microtransactions and the ever-growing presence of the Eververse. What I want to talk about today is how weapon ornaments can potentially clash with the idea of having an even playing field in the world of Destiny. As some of you know, about a year ago actually, I put out a video showing that one particular weapon ornament on the Chaperone called the Panama Ravine extended the length of the weapon's barrel. If that were just a visual thing, it would be fine, but as it turned out, the extra barrel length meant I could lock up one hit kills from slightly further away than the default Chaperone. If you were curious, I hopped into a private match the other day to see if after one year this had been fixed somehow, but no, the Panama Ravine ornament still has a noticeable one-hit kill range over the default chaperone. Look here, fire the chaperone normally, we're just past the damage drop-off point, but go into your menu, equip the Panama Ravine ornament, which makes the gun's barrel longer, back into the game, with neither me or my friend having moved, and bam, suddenly you lock up the one-hit kill. Now, realistically, in-game, the odds of you hitting this exact distance from you and your target on a routine basis in PvP is low. You shouldn't expect the Panama Ravine Chaperone Barrel to help you out every single game in Crucible. That being said though, it still creates a scenario where I'm literally never going to take off my Panama Ravine ornament, because why would I? Even if there's a chance that I'd get killed because I was using the default ornament, why take that chance? Why not just permanently take the weapon ornament that confirmed performs better, just in case you find yourself at that exact perfect range where you need a few extra inches on the barrel to lock up the kill? Same story with the Polaris Lance, by the way, another weapon I ended up testing last year. Confirmed that the Bray Legacy ornament lengthens the barrel and can give a tiny bit of extra damage at longer ranges. Tested the other day, yup, still a thing. So, as I mentioned, I covered all of that a year ago, old news for some of you here on the channel, but I got a tweet out of the blue from a dude in the community that mentioned the cold denial weapon ornament and how it may affect Zoom. I hadn't unlocked it from my season pass at the time, and normally I probably wouldn't do this, but hell, Beyond Light is delayed until November, <laughs> and I got nothing better to do. Anyway, he's partially right. I noticed right away the cold denial ornament called Dark Waters really, really changes how things look when you're ADSing the gun. Here it is compared side by side with the default cold denial. I'm at the exact same range in both pictures. The OG cold denial scope has a thicker red dot, and the U-shaped window of the scope is much closer to the target. The dark water scope has a smaller red dot, and you can see much, much more around your target within the scope window. It almost looks like our eyeball is much closer to the scope itself. It's cleaner. As it turns out, it doesn't affect the zoom of your scope. After swapping back and forth between the two multiple times, which I can show you here, the size of my enemy never changed, meaning the zoom is the same on both. It's just the scope of the ornament that is wildly different and weird. And the funny thing is, when looking at the scope in your weapon inventory, previewing the ornament doesn't change the scope at all. I can change back and forth all day between the dark waters and the default ornament, the only thing that looks different are the colors on the gun. The scope stays the same. And yet, here we are. So why is this a thing? 
No, really, I'm asking you, because there is no answer. Why is this a thing? Don't get me wrong, this isn't like the Chaperone. The damage drop-off points are the same for both ornaments, thankfully, because there's no barrel-length shenanigans going on, and there's no zoom shenanigans going on. But why do we have weapon ornaments that can change the performance of the weapon, even if that just translates to a much cleaner ADS experience? It's the same thing with the Vigilance Wing, which is actually a shockingly good PvP weapon in the current season. If you didn't know, it has a particular weapon ornament called the Vigil for Saint-14, and it's pretty much the only ornament I'm ever going to use on the Vig until they pry it from my cold, dead hands. Why, you wonder? I mean, just look at the two of them, side by side. The Vigil for Saint-14 scope is just cleaner. You don't feel as blocked in with these giant, towering gold wings on each side. If you're asking me, I'd say that people who don't have the Vigil for Saint-14 ornament or the Dark Waters ornament are actually missing out. Yeah, your damage drop-off point is the same, but if you're using a scope that is cleaner or wider, your experience with the weapon might improve overall. Normally, I wouldn't care about this so much, but you know what sucks? The Dark Waters ornament for the Cold Denial isn't obtainable to all D2 players. You have to have the season pass in order to obtain it. If you're just a regular old D2 player, you're out of luck in that department. Likewise, for the Vig Wing, if you check out this fancy website todayindestiny.com, which has a pretty damn detailed section covering what is and is not available in the Eververse at any given time, we can see that the Vigil for Saint-14 ornament is nowhere to be found, meaning you can't currently grab it by paying silver, you can't currently get it via Bright Dust, and you can't get it via a mnemonic engram. Basically, you're just gonna have to cross your fingers that the Vigil for Saint-14 ornament might enter the Eververse pool in Season 12, which isn't until November. This, all of this, shouldn't be a thing. Yes, I understand there are other problems going on in the game right now. I understand that cheaters are effing up the game as a whole on PC, and that error codes are a thing, and yada yada yada. I still think this is worth discussing though, because there are new players still coming into D2 on the regular, and surely there will be more coming in with Beyond Light in November. If I were a brand new player and learned that there are certain weapon ornaments that are just flat out better than what's available available to me, I would justifiably be salty. Wowzers, that weapon scope looks awesome and way better than what I got. Where can I get it? Sorry, Chief, gotta pay for the season pass. And I'm not trying to be a buzzkill. I think weapon ornaments are fun as hell. I don't always actively seek them out, but when you get a good one that really resonates with you, it feels good. Players should be happy to customize their guardian and the weapons that they use. That should always be a thing, but what shouldn't be a thing is ornaments that do anything else other than change the appearance of your weapon. No changes to how the weapon might look when ADSing, and definitely no changes to damage drop-off points or where the bullet physically leaves the barrel of your weapon. Just make your weapon look different and cooler and unique, and that's it. Or, another option, if you're gonna give weapon ornaments unique properties, which I think could maybe open up some unique and interesting doors into variety and customization, you gotta make it that any weapon ornament that gives a unique property is universally available. No unique ornaments locked behind the purchase of a season pass. No exotic ornaments that can completely vanish from the Eververse for entire seasons at a time. And that doesn't mean all ornaments should be a perma available to everyone forever, only the ones that potentially change how the weapon performs in-game. And that might be the way to go with it. I like the idea of having ornaments in this game that can potentially affect the functionality of your gun in unique ways. Way back in Destiny 1, the No Land Beyond had an ornament called the Undiscovered Country, which reduced how much your gun swayed when ADSing. Gotta be honest, I always thought the concept of that on paper was Pretty cool. What if certain weapon ornaments did minor changes that we knew about up front? What about an ornament with a more or less zoomed in scope? What about an ornament that gives extra stability? What about an ornament that gives, I don't know, extra damage to fallen in PvE? It definitely does open up doors, but Again, we should only be thinking about that possibility if we make those particular ornaments that do different things available to all players. So, either make it so that ornaments only affect the appearance of your gun and not how it performs in-game in any way, or 
let's get crazy and open that door on the condition that any ornament that directly changes the user experience of the gun overall is not locked behind season passes or the Eververse. Just one man's opinion on one small topic. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.